When we grapple with the ideas of this lecture, sometimes we come to this question of what is the purpose of a work of art? What is the purpose of our artifact? Uh, what's interesting to me is we call this aesthetic purpose. Yeah. Now, when we get into what does a painting have to do for us, that's one of the fascinations about looking at when art developed, because the cave drawings, the paintings, the, the stone objects that were created, they didn't have to have a kind of purely utilitarian purpose. We found things like they didn't sustain us biologically, they didn't nourish us, they didn't keep us warm, they weren't tools for us. They were, and in fact, they were strange tools. They actually let us examine ourselves, which was different than other tools that humans created. Yeah, so they didn't heal us. Um, the original fine arts, their purpose was to do something deeper and something more significant and more aesthetic. Yeah, that I'm sometimes reminded that when some people question, well, what is the purpose of art and why are we spending money on it? Why are we, um, you know, should we fund it as a country? Those are the ideas that sort of come up. And I always say these arts do something quite deep and they have quite a different purpose. Yeah. One of my favorite things is in the book Zen in the Art of Archery. It's a fantastic book to read, especially for any dancer or for a dancer, yeah, there's something about it for a performer, about being in that book when he, what he encounters in his um, quest to be able to shoot a bow and arrow, yeah. But um, what in Zen Buddhism, the archery was considered an art, an art form. And this is from... Um, Daiatsu um, Suzuki, and he said one of the most significant features we notice in the practice of archery is in fact, and in fact in all the arts studied in Japan and probably also in other Far Eastern countries, is that they're not intended for utilitarian purpose. That um, only for pure aesthetic enjoyment, but they're meant to train the mind Indeed, they're meant to, to bring the mind into contact with our ultimate reality. Now, I love that quote because that point of like, that a work of art, this, can bring us towards what is the ultimate about reality that we need to know and we need to celebrate. That is one of the things that some of you have articulated in some of your writings. When you talk about arts teaching us how to be human, arts teaching us how to understand ourselves as human beings. But that is a way, I love that idea that this is a tool, but it's not a traditional utilitarian tool. This is a strange tool.